Well, that's enough from Sugar Baby. Why don't we welcome our next panelist to the couch? They're a former CIA agent, and they're coming out with a New York Post best-selling book with the title, It's Just a Coincidence That I Happen to Be at Every American Mass Shooting. Let's welcome DeGregory Mausoleum. Oh, oh <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I don't do the handshake because I allegedly was the one that brought COVID from China. Bow! <laughs> Breaking news. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, we're gonna need an intern to clip that. That's that's morning. That's morning. Breaking news. Uh, Wait, this is being recorded. Oh uh, yeah. The these are all all three of these are rolling, and that is that is a whole live studio audience that you just stepped through. Kind of came out. Oh yeah. I'm pretty drunk then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the, you know. The government pays me to sit around and get drunk and I look at a computer screen. But, it you looks know, like you I, live a bachelor's life now. Well, I do a lot of traveling. Mm -hmm. I oh, travel. Oh, we love traveling. The CIA, as you know, doesn't work within the US, but I travel right. to every city just sure. to kind of check it out, mm -hmm. especially around elections. Right. And, mm -hmm. It's it's essentially right before devastating terrorist attacks. Just before, and that's and you're you're sort of uh, you've been sort of almost you know omnipresent around all sorts of events around the world. Uh, so it, how do you get such an early? Are you just an early bird getting the worm kind of situation, or how do you just happen to end up being everywhere? Uh, oh, we're not, we're not. What? Don't bring that up. Don't bring up the. It's part of the book. It's in the book. You're sweating so much. I think it's in the book. I didn't. I didn't, I didn't read the book. The book's about my cross-country trips. Oh. And the title of the book says that it's just a coincidence. It's just a coincidence because you're busy doing cross-country. It's not even. I feel like it, we don't even need to even really even talk about it. Uh huh. I'm not pointing any fingers here. I'm. My fingers are down. They're. They're. Astray. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> you are. You're so stressed. Yes. You, 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 got, stressed. You, got, you got very stressed. Well, I've killed men and women. Oh. Okay. Children. And what's the ratio? One to one to one to one. One to one to one. Woman, woman, man, baby. I make sure to even it out. If they're all one to one, you don't have to worry about the order of the nouns. If they're all one to one to one. No, because I. It's for me. Okay. It's for what, how I go to sleep. I can, Man. it's like counting sheep. Right, yeah. But it's for me That's because I to need sleep. to. Right. There's some scary kids out there. I mean, there's some, they're, I mean, first of all, they're annoying. I'm so glad someone finally said it. These yeah. kids are always yapping and they're always running around. Potential terror threats. Right. We don't know how many of these kids that we should be putting in cages. Right, sure. And, I, and, and, who, and who knows if it's the right kids we might, we might be getting the wrong kids in the cages. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think that's the main problem. Mm. Uh, 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 any, any, any experience with kids in cages? No. Yeah. So what's it, you know, I'm not putting any fingers. You are sweating a lot. You're, 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 so, you're soaking wet, but I'm-, I'm I'll say this. That. I get a little bit nervous to be sitting on a couch with two men yeah. in an interview situation because right. <laughs> I got yeah. a lot to hide. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and so I do have half of my back molar broken, mm. and I think a little bit of the cyanide has leaked out from the oh. capsule. Oh, dear. And I'm starting to feel the effects. Wow. Well, somebody Google how fatal that is because... I think we could probably wrap you out. Just a little bit is fine. Yeah, just a little bit. From my experience. Oh, we used to microdose micro cyanide back in the agency. Yeah. When the Pentagon is actually not where we do uh, the weird government stuff. stuff. Yeah, that's actually not it. Where is it? The Triangle. It's the Bass Pro Shop in Milwaukee. Uh huh. It's a pyramid. Whoa. And on 9-11, they crashed a plane today and no one fucking cared. An additional plane was crashed into the into the into the Bass Pro Shop. It's the third biggest pyramid in the world. I just happened to be there that day. I had nothing to do with it. And you and you are the sole witness of this event as of right now. Uh, Fuck! Did no one else know about that? I mean, no one else report. I, I, this is the first I'm hearing of it. Uh, Why did I agree to come on to here? So, 
Do you guys want to see my million dollar move I make on OnlyFans? Yeah. Okay. That was it. Thank you. Million dollar move. Wow. Million dollars? Yeah, that's, that's all. That's all you, that. you have a future in working for the government, son. <laughs> we would love to see more of that. Why don't you bring that to the White House? I sure. would love that. Maybe Obama, you you've got there. it coming for you. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about the White House right now? Oh, oh, oh God. I'm fine. Oh, it's, in, it's the, it's the cyanide fine. again, I think. I'm fine. So maybe use the, maybe rinse it out. <gasps> so whenever you're gagging, your best bet is to breathe through your nose. Mm. There you go. Yeah. That helped. Yeah, it helped a little bit, right? That helped. Look like a new guy. <laughs> Where's my gun? What? Where's my gun? What? You, Where's my gun? I don't. Oh, you're right. Oh, it's just oh. seeing people. <laughs> Right, and <laughs> I forgot sorry. they were there. If everyone could, I forgot they were there. <laughs> everyone could clap a little quieter. Um, so, you know, without putting any fingers, the last question I wanted to ask you, it was riveting to find out about the, the Bass Pro Shop as being an additional 9-11. That seems like it might be its whole other thing. I might have to bring you on my, my secondary podcast for us to really dish on that one. I would love um, to go on that. Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, but, you know, I, I want to ask, you know, and again, not pointing the fingers, and you are sweating a lot, and you've kind of frozen up. It's and, noticeable. And your neck has Does sort of Does it look like I'm lying? Arched. You've got an arched neck. It doesn't um, seem like I'm lying. Yeah. I've been, uh, but I've here's been what out I'll, of the agency for a little bit. I don't know how to do this anymore. You've got your ear in interesting places. Ah, <laughs> yes, yeah. And, and anything, Literally and metaphorically, I have actually a fake ear that I, I oh. stick, I can take off if nice. I need, and I put it. Yeah. I put it in places just in case oh. I need to listen. Right. I usually put it in women's bathrooms, though. <laughs> sure. I mean, I'm wearing. I'm wearing. Time. I'm wearing reindeer horns. Those aren't ears. They're horns. Uh, what are your thoughts about the CIA? Mm, I think it's really exciting to know that there's a few people gathering together to work for one common mission. Yeah. Well, that's more than I expected. I still observe and report. For example, I was in Las Vegas a couple oh, of years ago. Sure. I was having the, a beautiful dinner with the Shah of Iran's daughter oh. in the fountain. They drained the fountain. I know Terry Benedict, owner of the Bellagio. Name dropper, okay. He drained the fountain he drained the of fountain. the Bellagio for me and the Shah of Iran's daughter to have dinner in. Why would? And he let me have his daughter, you know? So, uh, says a little bit about the pull that the American government has. The Shah of Iran let me have his daughter at the Bellagio. And we were at the Bellagio Fountain because I'm a close personal friend of Terry Benedict, the owner of the Bellagio. And then we had a whole dinner at the Bellagio. But the problem was I ordered ham for the lady and where the Shah of Iran's oh. daughter's from, you can't eat ham. That's an awkward, uh, oh, I'm good. You need a, it's just, I, I got a drop. It's like sure. the spiciest hot sauce you've ever had. Right. This is kind of like hot ones right now. We're doing a little bit of a hot one. He's in the agency. They get the spicy on the hot wings. Yeah. They do the dab. Right. That is actually mind control. And then oh. it makes, it makes the, um, the celebrities turn into Democrats for the rest of their life. Oh. I'm biting down all the and way. And that's another, I'm that's another exclusive. Oh my uh, God. Apparently. Your watch. Thank you. It's actually not a watch, it's a bomb. In case I need to explode. Hey, how many suicide devices are on your body right now? Well, I've got the cyanide capsule. The capsule. I've got the watch. The watch. I have mm. shoelaces, which you can use to hang yourself. Sure, which everyone, everyone has. If you're in a pickle. Mm hmm. So that's not. Super. I also spy. learned how to <clears throat> throw my neck really hard. Oh, but mm -hmm. I did it once, and you can, you can, and then it wasn't there. So for, you were trying to commit suicide, and you failed at it. Yes. I think that's what makes you a hero. Yes. My hotel room was the one where the bullets were coming from. From in Vegas. We're back to Vegas in, in Vegas, the Mandalay they, Bay. Yeah, they were the Mandalay in Mandalay Bay shooter. But Over I was 600 wasn't, people shot and maimed. I wasn't there to make sure 60 people were murdered. I was there to have sex with the Shaw Iran's daughter. daughter. And you ordered ham for her down in the drained out yes. fountain. 
Yes. And it was dry. I mean, the, the fountain was dry. Not, not the ham. The ham was... But the ham and the pussy was wet. <laughs> so you just, so you, 